Yo, what is that, man? Yo, guys, welcome to the Fletcher Experience. You're hanging out with Maddie. Today, we're going to be talking about boom, land. All right, guys, so we are moving into the most important parts of the liturgical year in our Catholic tradition, which is Lent. So Lent is this time of preparation. We spend a, a period of time preparing ourselves for Easter, which is the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so the number 40 is quite interesting. You see the number 40 coming up through the scriptures, right? So Jesus goes out into the desert and he fasts for 40 days. And we have Moses who goes up into the Mount Sinai, who's hanging out there for 40 nights and 40 days as he prepares to receive the Ten Commandments from God. And so the calling for us Christians is to imitate Christ. And so we imitate him in that way in which he fasted for 40 days. And so we fast for 40 days. Now, some of us may think that Lent, I know when I was growing up, Lent was more like, a, oh, let me do something heroic. We don't want to bolster our own egos, you know, by giving something up that's really difficult to do. That's not the point of Lent. The whole idea of uh, Lent is to review our lives and see where we've lost our spiritual integrity. And what we want to do is we want to create a space for God. So it's a time of reflecting, a time of re reviewing, and seeing how we can recreate uh, more space for God and lead ourselves closer to God. So that's the whole point of Lent, is to get close to God. We've been learning a few interesting things in community from the rule of St. Benedict. St. Benedict talks about, uh, I think it was about four different things food, drink, uh, sleep, speech, and sort of how we, you know, how we kind of, you know, reviewing those four areas of our lives, you know, how much am I eating, how much am I drinking, uh, am I sleeping too much, and, and my speech, how am I using my speech, how am I speaking about people, am I talking about other people, am I speaking badly about other people, am I too critical with others, am I critical in my own thinking, how am I thinking about other people, am I judging people too much, so of course, St. Benedict is huge on balance, right? So you don't want to just cut one thing out completely. I've been told in community time and time again that this is a terrible thing to do. Don't do it. Do not just cut something out. So essentially what you want to do is you want to, you want to increase a little bit of something that's good and you want to decrease a little bit of something that's bad around your life. For this land, I'm going to be looking at different areas of my life, right? So one area is waking up in the morning. I'm setting my alarm clock for 5.45 a.m., which was the time I used to wake up at, and then I got really bad at it. It's waking up 6, 6.20. So now I'm waking up 5.40 a.m. As soon as it rings, I'm out of bed. And this, of course, affects my whole morning routine and affects my prayer routine and how much time I actually spend in prayer. So it's got a whole ri uh, a ripple of... Next, I'm going to be looking at my mobile phone because it's quite a big distraction. There's quite a few things you can do with your mobile phone, which I may be doing, well, I will be doing. So I'm gonna delete Facebook Messenger, the apps, get rid of the apps of my phone. Facebook Messenger, Facebook, just kill that. Kill Instagram, get that off my cell phone. Essentially, what I can do is, I can spend maybe one hour a week, or set a time in the week where I can actually go on Instagram on my laptop, or go on Facebook on my laptop. So I'm not cutting it out completely, but I'm just kind of restructuring the way I use it. Other ideas, maybe like kill the, the notifications of your phone, kill the, the emails of your phone, email apps, take that off. Uh, essentially, turn your smartphone into a dumb phone. I think that's a brilliant idea. Why not, right? How often is our cell phones distracting us continuously in our work, uh, in our prayer times? Then I was thinking about reading, doing something good, reading a book on prayer. This is something I was going to do last year and I only read a few chapters. So this year I want to try actually finish this book which is called Marked for Life. It's a brilliant book on prayer, check it out. Maybe I'll put a description in the, maybe I'll put a link in the description, you can check it out. And yeah, I think that's all for my Lenten plan. So that's my kind of plan, that's my, and that plan is kind of fostered on um, sort of helping me to focus more on God rather than being distracted by various things. So yo man, let me know what your Lenten plans are. I hope this video is helpful about Lent. Remember, Lent is not about being heroic, but it's about creating space for God and helping you to get closer to God. So guys, let me know what your plans are. Peace out.